get the latest analysis of the situation uh, on the ground in Ukraine. Joining me again in the studio is the Defence and Security Analyst, Professor Michael Clark. Hello again, Michael, looking at this map here. Talk us through the second phase. What are we hearing from the Russian military? What is their intent? Well, the Russian military are pushing. They're pushing from uh, east to west, and uh, they've acknowledged, and the Ukrainians have acknowledged, that there are about 40-odd villages uh, east in the Donetsk region have fallen, but those are only villages. The Russians are, co are concentrating on Kramatorsk, and they really want Kramatorsk as part of this line they want to draw from north to south. But this whole um, adventure of theirs, which they're now saying is for the east and the whole of the south of the country, it's distance that's the issue. It's 300 miles north to south, and then another 300 miles from uh, the Donbass right through to Moldova, which they're now talking about the Transnistria district of Moldova. So these are big distances. The Ukrainians are holding them at the moment, but these are very early days. What the Ukrainians now need is the heavy metal. They need the tanks, the armoured fighting vehicles, the artillery. Uh, Joe Biden announced yesterday another 800 million in yeah. military aid, which included 72 of the very good 155mm howitzers. That's great. But what the Ukrainians need is not 72 of them. They need 200 or 300 of them to make a, to make a game-changing difference. So it's a, a sort of logistics race that's going on at the moment. Now, the world's eyes have been focused not just on Ukraine, but in particular uh, this place here, Mariupol. Now, the last stand there seems to be taking place at a steelworks. What is the latest situation? Yes, uh, it looks like about 1,000 troops uh, underneath the Azovstal steelworks, maybe 1,000 civilians, maybe 500 wounded civilians and military. Um, the Russians have said that they won't go in after them, that they'll just screen them and move on, and that's a sensible thing. Uh, President Putin announced it with great fanfare yesterday, talking to his defence minister. He, he said, in fact, that he didn't even want to fly to be able exactly, to escape from exactly. there, didn't he? Well, you know, his commander on the ground, Dvornikov, could have worked that out for himself. I mean, no sensible commander sends people in to fight in the tunnels against a desperate enemy who've got nothing to lose. Um, Russian media... In recently have started to report that the Russians are prepared to allow safe passage for everybody out of the Avastal steelworks. That may be true. A question will be, will the, will the Ukrainians believe them? Because they may... It makes perfect uh, public relations sense for the Russians to say that, and it will get the steelworks off the map, take it away as a problem. But what will they do with the Ukrainian soldiers? Will they send them to a prison war camp? Will they take them around the back somewhere and shoot them? Or would they just send them home? They don't trust them, that's the point. The, the Ukrainians, I suspect, will not take advantage of that, maybe except for the civilians. And then there's the uh, images that have appeared uh, overnight from Maxar, the satellite uh, company. And this is an image from a place called uh, um, Manhu, uh, which is, uh, sorry, um, uh, um, uh, yeah, Ma uh, Manhu, which is a, uh, a village about 20 kilometers outside uh, Mariupol. It is... Um, a cemetery, municipal cemetery, and this image was taken on the uh, 19th of March. On the 3rd of April, another image shows uh, a lot of area of new graves, about 200 new graves that have been created. We don't know who's in those graves. The Russian military may well say, well, those are Ukrainian soldiers that we buried with full respect. Ukrainians may say, no, they're civilians who've been illegally killed. Chances are we won't know for quite some time uh, which of those is likely to be nearer to the truth. Oh, quite horrifying images uh, either way, aren't they? OK, uh, Michael, uh, thank you very much.